Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. But that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode. This time we're going to talk about the rebirth of the Fuji X100. Now, of course, this camera came out in 2011, and a lot of people loved it. There were some critics, too, because it was a little bit quirky. Um, and it's really a camera designed for the street shooter. It has a 35 millimeter equivalent fast 2.0 lens, and it's very discreet. Now, a lot of people call it the poor man's Leica. This will probably be the closest I get to a Leica, um, so uh, I think it's a great camera. But I'm not much of a street photographer. Not that I don't want to be, but I live in a, a farming town outside of Chicago that then over the course of maybe 30 years became a suburb of Chicago and grew considerably, but there's not a lot of grimy, great street photography stuff out there. So, you know, I'm not living in New York City or London or Hong Kong or someplace like that. So I got this camera and I did enjoy using it, but the, I would tend to use, let's say, uh, even a Fuji X10 more for the type of shooting that I do. So why did I keep this camera? Because it's such an incredibly well-made and beautiful camera. And it really is. I mean, just holding it is an absolute joy. Shooting with it is great. It's very innovative. Uh, he has that kind of hybrid viewfinder and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, but recently, again, about a year after everyone else on the planet, I discovered that there was new firmware out, loaded it onto the camera, and I'm telling you, it really almost makes it like a new camera because this firmware doesn't just correct bugs which is what you normally would see when firmware comes out after a, ca a camera has been discontinued you know 2011 this is 2014 came out in 2013 the firmware but it actually enhances the camera and adds features um, and those those enhancements and features are very noticeable and really significant so what does it do well, it increases the autofocus speed by, it says, about 20%. Now, I love Fuji cameras. I think their color palette is gorgeous. Their build quality, especially the X-Series, is phenomenal. Focusing, not so good. So even if you're on just a center focus and you're right on the, on the, on the object that you want to focus on, well, much, a lot of the time it will focus. Sometimes it would hunt around a little bit, but sometimes it would focus someplace else for some reason. Um, I think that the firmware 2.01, I guess is what, what I have now, um, really not only improves focus speed, but also just the accuracy of the focus. It also um, it gave the ability to focus closer to an object without having to switch into macro mode. It was kind of frustrating. I mean, you had to be pretty far away, or otherwise switch into macro, and if you were doing anything that was a little more close up or portrait-like, um, it was kind of a hassle. Well, that has now been dramatically improved uh, with the firmware update. It also, which is really awesome, they've also included focus peaking. Now, the automatic focusing is much better, but sometimes manual focus is really necessary. And if you're an older guy like me, Sometimes, even with, if you have the magnified image and all that sort of stuff, to really get a sharp focus is difficult, um, especially if you're trying to do it quickly. But it's really easy to do it with focus peaking, where everything, all the contrast lines are kind of highlighted for you. So we now have focus peaking, which is a feature that wasn't even on the camera before. Uh, there's a few other improvements, a little quicker startup time, some you know better button selection and that sort of thing. But I would definitely say that if you have this camera sitting around someplace, and if you are like me and you have not upgraded the firmware yet, please do upgrade the firmware. You really will see a significant difference. It's making me want to shoot with this camera again. Um, uh, I just think it's awesome, and thank you to Fuji for doing something kind of like the right thing. So it's not just fixing a bug, like the camera would shut off automatically or something. I mean, really improving the performance of the camera and also adding features, even though they're not going to make any more money. But what are they going to do? 
well, they're going to make a lot of people loyal to the Fuji brand. Anyway, if you get some time, please give my podcast a listen. It's called Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. You can find it on iTunes and other podcatching sites. Uh, as always, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe. Maybe click like if you like it too. And um, I'll be making more videos. Take care.